Hello and welcome to People's Voice, where true stories touch deep emotions. Today, we delve into, I don't believe this, I just found out that my wife is cheating on me with an old boyfriend from college. Come, let's explore these real life tales. We have been married just over 6 years, and together for 10. We don't have any kids, which is a good thing. She is on birth control, as we have decided we are just not ready for kids. I didn't see any red flags or anything, but I guess I should have. Everything came to light when I noticed she was on her phone at 2 a.m. She has never done that. I just happened to see she was on Facebook and saw a conversation between her and an old college friend, at least that's what I saw. I didn't think anything of it and just went back to sleep. It turns out they had been talking for months. He has been going over to her job to meet her secretly after work which explains on a few occasions she got home really late, like two to three hours late. I just can't believe this. I thought we were happy. She says she still loves me, but she is in love with him too. She wants to try to work things out with me, but I don't know if I can trust her again or even forgive her. While at work one day, my wife calls me and says she is leaving for a few days. She wants to clear her head. I then ask her why. She says she will tell me when she comes back from this trip. I told her that's not good enough. I asked where is she going. She then tells me she is going to visit her college friend. I then put two and two together and confront her about cheating on me. So, I tell her if you go see this guy, we are done. She then starts crying and says she is sorry and that she loves me, but she needs to do this for her. So I ask her, you're going to throw away 10 years for someone in your past? She then says she doesn't know and hangs up the phone on me. I was so mad, I couldn't think straight, so I just went home early from work. It's been a few days now, and she has not returned my calls or texts. I have since told my family and friends about what happened, and they are all supportive and say I deserve better. I know I do and I decided to call a few attorneys to find out what my options are and if I have a case for divorce. I did find a decent attorney for my research, and I have set up a free consultation. I still don't know where my wife is, I don't have an address or anything. So, I reach out to one of her friends and ask if she knows where she is. She then tells me my wife has left the state and is now in another country. I said, what? She went to another country? I then asked her where. Her friend says she went to Australia to be with her college friend. I was so mad, I couldn't think straight. I then said to her friend, you tell my wife if she doesn't come back home in two weeks, I will file for divorce. So, a few days go by, and I go talk to the attorney that I set up the free consultation with. I flat out told him that I found out that my wife went to Australia to be with another man and I want a divorce. He says, okay, let's get started on this. We will need to file for an at-fault divorce based on adultery. I said, that's fine, whatever needs to be done. So, the attorney says he will start working on the paperwork and should have everything ready to go in a few weeks. I then ask him, what about my wife? She is in another country. He says, don't worry about that. We will serve her the papers through the court system there. So, after my meeting with the attorney, I called my parents and told them I have filed for divorce. They were heartbroken but understood. So, three weeks go by, I just got home from work, and I get a call from my wife. I answered the phone and said, hello, because I didn't recognize the number. There was about a second of silence, then I hear her voice. I simply asked her, what did she want? She then proceeds to tell me that she wants to come home and try to work things out, and then she drops a bombshell on me. She says she is pregnant. I was in complete shock. I then asked her, how could this be? We haven't been intimate in months. She then says that the baby is not mine, it's her old college boyfriend's baby. I then said to her, so, you are having his baby, and you want to come back home to me? I told her we are divorcing. What you did to me was cold and calculating. 
You had an affair, got pregnant by another man, and then you had the nerve to run off to another country. I told her I want nothing to do with her, and that she needs to stay over there with her child's father. I then hung up the phone on her. After that phone call, I was angry and heartbroken at the same time, but that is what I had to do. I contacted the attorney again and told him that my wife wants to come back home, and he said that was fine. He said he would update the divorce paperwork accordingly and get everything filed as soon as possible. One week later, I got a call from the attorney, and he said that my wife was served with divorce papers. She had 30 days to respond to them. A week goes by. I am at home. It's about 8 p.m. There is a knock at the door. I get up to go answer it, and it's my wife. She looks a mess. She is crying and she has a suitcase with her. I simply said to her, What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Australia. She then says, Can I come in? I told her no. You need to leave and go back to where you came from. She then says, Please, can we talk? I said, There is nothing to talk about. You made your choice when you had an affair and got pregnant by another man. I told her, you can get your things and leave. As she walked in, I noticed her best friend was in the car waiting. She then says, I am sorry, please forgive me. I said to her, it is too late for that now. You have ruined our marriage. You need to get your things and leave, and don't come back. You received the divorce papers, it's done. She then says, please don't do this. I love you. I again said to her, no, there is nothing to talk about. Get your things and go back to Australia. She starts bawling even harder now. She gets up and hugs me and tries kissing me. I pushed her away and said, don't touch me. She then says she will leave, but first, she needs to go to the restroom. I told her, fine but hurry up. So, she goes into the restroom, and I hear her talking on the phone. I couldn't make out what she was saying, but I knew she was talking to her best friend. She then comes out and goes upstairs and starts packing her things. I hear her crying the whole time she is packing. After about an hour, she comes downstairs with two suitcases in her purse. She then walks over to me and says, I am so sorry for how I acted. Can we please talk one more time? I said to her, no. She asked me if there was a chance we could work things out and try to be together again. I told her that it was too late. She has done too much damage. I reiterated that she needed to leave and not come back. I was done with her. She then said that she is so sorry and leaves. I watched her drive away in her best friend's car and all I could do is shake my head at how much drama one human being can cause, but in the end, it was for the best. I am now free of her, and I can move on with my life. She made a choice to have an affair with someone from her past, gets pregnant, and wanted to come back. I have never done anything like this, shared my business with strangers, but thank you to everyone who gave me advice and told me to keep calm, and a clear head, and do things right. I don't know that I will be back to talk about the divorce, but as you have read, it's moving right along, and I should be free soon. If you love this story, and crave more tales of love, betrayal, and healing, don't forget, to subscribe for more from Cheating Stories.